So it is that time of the month to take a pregnancy test. I have a first response, I have one left, so if this is negative, whoops. So if this is negative, I will have to pick up some more pregnancy tests for next cycle, or I guess next time I test, because if this is negative, it may still be too early. Um, and so then I'll just have to test again, like in a week or so. So right now I'm on cycle day. 27. I talked about this in the last video that I posted, which was my mommy morning routine, but I'm just going to talk about it again for those of you who didn't watch my last TTC update. So I got my period like on my own right before Vegas, which was, I got it at the very end of April. And usually I have to take Provera to trigger my period because it's so irregular that I don't get it every month, but I ended up getting it on my own. And I had planned to start Clomid, like do a second cycle of Clomid, but since I was going to be in Vegas, I didn't want to be on Clomid in Vegas just because of the side effects. And I just didn't want to feel shitty, to be honest. I had been looking forward to it, so that's why I just decided not to take it and to take it the following cycle. So if I am not pregnant this cycle, um, I'm going to take Clomid my next cycle and I'm going to take ovulation tests and like track the whole thing and just really go hardcore with it. So Alex and I have been trying naturally not taking ovulation tests or anything. So I really just don't know when I have been ovulating, if I have been ovulating. So it's just kind of a guessing game. Um, but I am on cycle day 27 right now. And I feel like since I have a first response, which is supposed to detect like five days early, I don't even know when my next period would be, to be honest with you. Uh, my cycles are usually around like 45 days, so I still may have not ovulated yet. I don't know you guys. I'm just, everything is really just up in the air, but I felt like I should just go ahead and take a pregnancy test because one, we have been trying. Two, I feel like cycle day 27 for anyone else, they would take a pregnancy test. And three, um... I have been feeling like my boobs have been a little bit sore. That's usually a pregnancy symptom. I know that when I was pregnant with Camden, that was my first symptom was like sore boobs. And they've been feeling just a little weird. So I'm like, okay, well, is that a sign? You know, I mean, when you're trying to get pregnant, you pretty much think everything is a sign. My doctor said that on cycle day 35, if I take a test and it's negative, then I am not pregnant and that I can just go ahead and start Provera to trigger my period and then start my cycle of Clomid. So that is the plan for now. So anyway, now that I have updated you guys on the whole TTC situation, I am actually not going to take a pregnancy test right this minute because I peed. I'm such an idiot. Like I knew that I was going to film me taking one today, but I peed like 30 minutes ago. And so I don't really have to go right now. Also, Alex took Camden up to the park for a little bit and I think they're on their way back and I don't want him to be home when I take the test just in case it's positive. I obviously want to surprise him, so um, I'm going to wait until he goes out to the garage to work out tonight. So just hold tight. I will be right back. Okay, you guys, I'm back. It is now 10 o'clock at night, um, and I really, really have to pee. Okay, so now we wait the three minutes. Um, I'm definitely nervous. I feel like it's always very nerve wracking taking pregnancy tests and I really don't wanna be disappointed again for like the millionth time. Um, for those of you who are just tuning into my channel, like this is the first video you've watched, you have no idea what's been going on during my TTC. Um, my husband and I do have a two year old son and I had to take two rounds of Clomid in order to conceive him. I have not been diagnosed with PCOS, although I think I probably do have PCOS and I am gonna get tested soon. We have been trying since about October. I've only taken one dose of Clomid and that was like, I think in January or February, but I'm gonna take another cycle um, if this cycle doesn't work. Like if we don't conceive this cycle, then my next cycle I will take Clomid again. Okay, you guys, it is 10.10, 10, so it has been 
three minutes and we're gonna look at the test. You've got a lot on your plate and class have to work lately. And I know you never catch any breaks and I feel the same way. I'm not at my best now. Stressed out, obsessive, compulsive. Oh, guys. Pulling my hair out in bunches. Negative. Just try to breathe slowly. I like peed all over the stick, too. Like, I've done this so many times that you think that I would know how to pee on a stick, but I peed all over the stick, so I'm like, you know, I was trying to like make sure that I was reading it clearly, but um, there's only one line. I'll show you guys. So I'm probably gonna wait till sometime next week. Maybe I'll wait like a full week and I'll test again. Make both of your lungs fall. I'll follow my heart to be wherever you are. I could just hold you here. You guys are probably getting so sick of seeing these negative tests just as much as I am. But yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and end this video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for always leaving such sweet, supportive comments. And follow me along on this journey. Hopefully we will get a positive soon. I'm just, I'm praying that it'll be soon. And um, if not this cycle, then maybe next cycle is the cycle. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you guys in my next one.